Hi, I want to welcome you to our RV site. Uh, this is uh, our lot. As you see, we've got a nice covered bridge there on the right, as well as our RV and our RV site here in front of you. Uh, as you can see, we've got a very nice lot. We have nobody on either side of the lot itself. And we'll just kind of pan around here a little bit and show you uh, what the lot looks like. Down the street here, we have the amenity center on the right, as well as a pool over here on the left side, and straight ahead, a, a nice big pavilion. And you see we've got this nice deck here. I built this a couple years ago, which makes a nice living area. A place that we can sit out underneath the gazebo and watch TV in the mornings and such. Uh, here we have our golf cart that we call Clifford. As you can see, we just got here actually. And uh, a lot of pine needles and such down because there's been a lot of wind in the last week since, we, since we've been away. Uh, straight ahead here, of course, you can see my shed and my little 10-foot uh, bass boat that I use to go fishing in. And as you can see here from the back side, we've got a fair amount of room. Uh, not your typical RV side. It makes it very nice uh, not to have somebody right up against you on either the living side nor the back side of the RV. As you can also see here, I've got gas cans on the back of my Jeep because we're here dodging Dorian, the hurricane. So I have extra gas uh, for the Jeep if uh, needed. I will quickly take a look at the living side here. Again, we got a lot of pine needles down. We just got here and uh, put the awnings out and I went ahead and started making this video. So you can see we've got a lot of pine needles down on the deck. Uh, this is our fire pit here, of course the gazebo, as well as the uh, Anirondack chairs that I built a couple years ago. Makes it very comfortable. I also have a nice uh, 32 inch flat screen TV here on the side of the coach. Makes it great for watching football games. And here is a couple windows from the bunk windows from the inside. Another nice feature here is the, the diesel access. We have access here from both sides of the coach, uh, which makes it very handy. So uh, you don't have to be quite so particular in which direction you're going into when you want to fill up. Another feature I forgot to mention that I want to point out is the, the basement bays. Uh, the first couple here is the LP tanks and etc. But this one is a full basement bay that goes all the way across. It's got this nice tray that can slide out that uh, slides out about halfway this way and you can open up the other side and slide it out the other direction as well. And there's three bays next to each other like this. So it gives a lot of nice uh, basement room in this coach. These are the other two bays I mentioned. And then as I also mentioned, here's the other access for the diesel fill on this side of the coach. So let's go ahead and take a look on the inside. The 
think as we, as we start stepping up into the coach, you can see I've got the captain chairs pointed back towards the living area. So they rotate, which is nice because it makes uh, extra seating for the uh, living space. Um, So this is what the cockpit area looks like. And this is basically the patch panel which has the auto leveling jacks, the uh, gear system and various buttons to run various aspects of the coach. It's got an automatic air suspension system so as you hit the button for the air, it actually lifts the coach up and it's air suspension. And obviously, if you drop the air out, the unit drops down about six inches or so uh, to make it easier to come in and out. You can also see there I had two monitors, both in navigation, uh, stereo, as well as camera systems. Here we have some overhead uh, cabinetry with a 32 inch flat screen TV and external speakers. And up here, you know, to notice, but up above that is a nice uh, drop down bed. So as I uh, push this button here, you'll see that uh, this whole bed will drop down and make it's almost a queen size bed. Not quite, but very close to a queen size bed, but it will handle somebody uh, up to like seven foot tall. So it's a pretty good size bed. Okay, let's take a look in the other direction down the coach. As you can see here on the left, got a nice uh, size dinette, which actually makes into a nice size bed as well, which will handle somebody, I think, around six foot tall, uh, which is uh, pretty big for a dinette table. A uh, 55 inch flat screen TV with a sound bar over top there, as well as a couple of nice cabinets. And over here on the right, we have a couch that also pulls out to a bed, which actually makes a full queen size bed. And uh, so as you can see right here in the front, we can already sleep six people just in this small area. Of course, it'd be a bit on the crowded side. We have some nice uh, under cabinet uh, lighting. Uh, here we have a nice uh, induction stove top with some really nice counters, as well as we also have a convection oven uh, microwave combo here. Okay, uh, this is a nice little feature where we have the uh, slide out countertop here. It gives us extra space uh, for countertop requirements when we're cooking. And another nice feature here uh, in the cabinets themselves, we have uh, several of these kind of pull out drawers for pots and pans and uh, you know various uh, kitchen appliances and so forth which makes it very handy. Uh, dual sinks, uh, some extra cabinetry here. And over here on our left side, we have a residential refrigerator. which at the time you can see is fairly stocked because we took a lot of the content from our refrigerator in Naples and brought it here uh, due to the storm uh, that's coming through. And uh, here behind these uh, doors we have a stackable washer and dryer, which is extremely handy. We didn't think we would really need a washer and dryer in an RV, but we found that that was wrong. We use it quite often. Uh, here we have a nice slide out pantry. And over on the right side, we also have another pantry here, which could also double as some um, space for a guest if we had a guest that was going to be with us, you know, for a you know, a little bit longer term, we could clear out some of that, make more space for the guests. Uh, here's a nice pocket door that comes across and basically shuts off the living area completely from the bedroom area. 
and as you can see we also have another slide out pocket door here which will then enclose this whole uh, bunk bed area to be its own isolated room and this is uh, the door for the guest bathroom which we'll go to in just a second and over here on the left you can see we have a couple nice bunk beds which are actually six foot long so they'll handle someone up to six foot and another nice little feature is, is that we have a TV in each of these bunks so in this unit we have a total of six TVs along with the ability to actually sleep 10 people and a couple of drawers for the guests there as well uh, another nice feature is it's a, it's actually a two full bath so it does have a shower here although it's not a very big shower but it gets the job done and it has a nice little tub if you wanted uh, you know, to give a, a pet or a, ch a small child a bath or something, you could do that, but it's a very small tub. And you can see the little patch panel here. We'll come back to that to talk a little bit more detail on that in a minute. Uh, throughout the coach, you have these other little patch panels here that actually will pop off that these control the lighting as well as the uh, vent fans. Uh, got nice cabinetry over top of the master bed. This is a king size bed. Uh, those uh, cabinets up there are actually very deep. And there's some small cabinetry on both sides of the bed as well. Uh, here we have uh, some uh, closet space for hanging stuff as well as uh, this is a nice one because it actually has a nice uh, pull out drawer uh, for this one and three pretty good sized drawers down below and here again another TV 32 inch flat screen with some pretty nice storage uh, behind it In here with the master bath we have a pocket door that will shut um, of course the toilet area and then the back side is a laundry chute where you can keep dirty laundry or extra toilet paper or trash can or whatever you'd want to use it for here we have a medicine cabinet a small one with a fuse box system in there as well and then over on this side we have two nice uh, pull out uh, medicine cabinets as well see we've got a lot of storage in this unit so much so that we have not uh, come close to filling it up dual sinks which is very handy and again some more storage area a pretty good size uh, shower with the skylight in it and as well as the other bathroom has a skylight in it as well. All right, let's go talk a little bit about this uh, panel. Okay, this is a, a very nice panel where it controls basically all the aspects of the coach can quickly look and see what our black water gray water LP tank fresh water tank is set to turn on our water pump or gas water heater or, or electric water heater if we want to also check our voltages for all our batteries um, here's the electrical uh, system here where it will show us if there was any kind of an electrical issue with the coach it would tell us where the breakdown is so it helps troubleshoot that as well as the AGS system, which I'll get back to in a second. Uh, here's the lighting system, which allows you to select all the lights throughout the coach. Temperature system, uh, air conditioner in the front and the back. Both have heat pumps, 
so you can set the uh, temperatures for the front and the back to be different if you wanted and then we have these vent fans three places within the coach within the uh, bathrooms in the kitchen uh, as well as all the slide out information this is uh, where we can control all the slide outs we can do this also from the front of the coach there's a number of uh, options to deal with the slide outs there and then some setup stuff here uh, one nice feature is uh, you can also load a mobile app on your on your smartphone and lets you control everything that we're doing here I can control right from my uh, cell phone so I can stand outside and slide the slides out if I want and all that kind of stuff and then I want to jump back to the AGS which is the auto generator start this is a pretty nice feature where you can set it up based off of voltage or by time or by temperature a number of aspects you can set to automatically turn the generator on and off you know so say to run the air conditioner cool it down or to charge up batteries and that type of stuff so uh, another nice feature there so one quick last uh, look at the coach from this direction and uh, we'll uh, finish up from here I thank you for uh, taking the time to watch